Tortillas en suerte con el Brad. Action. Hey guys, they are down here in Austin, Texas. We're going to be meeting up with Fermin from Suerte, and he's going to be showing me something I've always wanted to learn, and that's how to make tortillas from scratch. We're going to get some really good corn, do the nixtamalization process, stone grind it, get our masa, and with the end result, making some awesome tortillas and tacos. So, something I've always wanted to learn, really stoked, and uh, let's get started. Hey guys, today we're down here in Texas, and we hooked up with Chef... I keep saying hooked up. Yeah. Just getting to know him. Yeah, now we're back. Road to hug. Road hug. Woo. Josh, get in there. Woo. Josh, get in there. Come on. Quit f***ing around, Josh. <laughs> there he is. Oh, it's the best. I don't have my road dog badge yet, all right? I haven't in training. Yet. Road dog in training. Road, road dog road in training. Road dog in training. In the process. <laughs> so, if you want to make great tortillas, you were telling me, you need to start the day before. Yeah, if you want tortillas today, you have to start the night before. So we came in last night. We at did. The end, towards the end of your service. You know, we broke out some of the corn, the dried corn you have, and you started teaching me about the nixtamalization process. Yeah, very simple process, but it, it takes a lot to just uh, do it right. Well, know? right off the bat, what is what is nixtamalization? Nixtamalization is the process of taking corn, bringing water to a simmer, uh, adding uh, calcium oxide, stirring that around, adding the corn, uh, cooking it till you see the, the three things that I showed you yesterday, which was... Making sure that the skin is falling off easily. Easily, pop it off. Yes, making sure when you bite it, it's, it has a little bit of a... A little tooth to it. A little tooth to it. And that when, you are, when you're done uh, touching it, your, your fingers are sticky. And what is that stickiness? The stickiness is going to create that gelatin that's going to make the tortillas be able to stretch. Yeah, you were showing me that yesterday. We got to get... Well, we'll have to show that again. Mm -hmm. But I've never seen... A, you know, you go to the supermarket, you put it in the fridge, it never goes bad. Yeah. You, you look at it, it tears. And then you showed me yesterday, I think it looked like it was it had you, like yeah, gluten in it. Yeah, you should not be able to just store a tortilla and keep it for three, six months. It should not be able to just be on a shelf, God knows for how long. Right. Uh, tortillas should last for about three days at the most. Right. Put me to work, chef. What are you going to do? So, we, are you guys ready? I do, I, make, I do this all the time. I kind of just jump in and get excited. And they're like, F you know, you got to wait for it. Just make sure. Are you good? We're good. Okay. I'm going to start um, draining it. So all the water comes out. Okay. But before we do that, I want you to taste the corn now and tell me oh, wow. what you feel. Look at all that, like, I don't want to say, kind of like sediment. Mm -hmm. That was not there. It was definitely night. not. The skin, is, oh wow, it's the completely skin. different. And look how sticky, icky, icky. And yeah. that the skin just, I mean, okay. it's not even there. Now, now put it in your mouth. Just put it in your mouth. Just get in there. Mm. All right? What do you taste? You have no idea what well, it tastes like, well, you know. It's it, like corn, but. It tastes it, like corn, but. <laughs> maybe if you taste the water. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that's kind of delicious. It's kind of delicious, but right now it's, it adds a little bit of stink to me. It adds the calcium oxide. That's the reason why we're going to rinse it. Okay. If you can do one of these, then definitely do that. I didn't earn it yet. This is so cool. You're so cool. <laughs> We're almost ready for rinse the it. first rinse. The first rinse. The first rinse. Phase one complete. To the rinsing procedure. Ciao, Vanny. And you say we do two rinses? Two rinses. Three would be too much? Three just, would be just, just not you, necessary. You'd be fired, Brad. Okay. <laughs> I would fire you. Fired before you're hired. You wouldn't even become a road dog yet. Oh, don't say that. You're in the process of making I want it so bad. You want to be a road dog. <laughs> okay, stop. Yes, sir. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Yeah, that. you sure did, Fermin. <laughs> did that on purpose. I know it. Okay. Now, this is a trick. Okay. We got to rinse it, but we can't agitate it too much. Okay. If we agitate it too much, we're going to lose all that next generation process. We're going to peel a lot of the skin, and we're not going to have that elasticity that we're going for. All right, okay? so don't, don't play so with it, Brad. Just get in there. Well, that's when not get... too gentle, for me. Show me. I thought you were going to be like... Real oh my nice, God! You know, was was Tortuga your your high school nickname? Yes, sir. How'd you know? Cause you're so slow. <laughs> Look at that, Vinny. You getting that shot? Look at that stuff. Almost looks like candy corn, which I hate. That's enough. That's enough. Go four. That's around. enough. Back That's to the drain. Choo -choo. <laughs> bailando. Hey, bailando. Acapulco party. Acapulco party all day, babe. Taste it now. Taste okay. it now, Brad. Okay, yes, sir. 
oh, big corn flakes. Completely different than before we. Then like it. what? Five minutes ago, huh? Yeah, like three and a half. I ate it. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. That's delicious. Yeah. See how the corn like, it's whiter now too. Big time. Yeah, I mean, like you kept saying, oh, we're making, you know, white masa, white masa. I was like, oh, it's pretty yellow to me. You tell me this now? <laughs> <laughs> it's a sweet vessel, man. I think, we're, I think we're Gucci. Gucci? Gucci. I think we're Gucci. Gucci'd out? Gucci'd out. What's Gucci? It's good. What, what do you mean with Gucci? Gucci's good? Yeah. What, in Spanish? Yeah. No, it's like Gucci. All right, we've hit Gucci status. <laughs> Ephraim, I mean, we're looking at this pretty awesome piece of machinery here. You want to just thank you. <laughs> you want to just tell me, uh, tell me exactly what it is. So this is a molino. It translates to mill. Oh. It's a wet mill. Oh, perfect. It's what is used to grind the corn. Oh. To make tortillas. Excellent. And then over here, we're gonna put two stones. We're gonna put. Oh, stone. Up. It's a stone grinder. It's a stone grinder. Oh Volcanic yeah. Volcanic stones. Ooh. Ooh. So take a guess. Which stones goes where? You have no idea. Stand by. That one goes in. No. How? What's the difference? So see, get in here, Benny. This one has an arrow. Oh. Uh, that one? Does not. So that one not. spins. So that one spins. Now how do you know what depth? Oh, they're almost touching. Because I have done this before. You're professional. God damn it, Brad. Feel it? Yep. That's where how that's about how much you do want to start. Yeah. Uh, but let's start feeding uh, the corn here, fill it to about right here. Very good. Go. Don't forget about the noise. Keep feeding me. You don't want to let this get dry. Yes, sir. And then right now I'm going to check the, the consistency. The, yeah, the consist the greediness, right? And you guys do this every day. Every morning. Every morning. Every morning. Every day. So every tortilla that is served at the restaurant is from today's masa. And then whatever we don't sell that night for masa, we turn it into tostadas, playudas. Of course. Um, we bake a lot of things in masa too. It's kind of the heart, the foundation of suerte. It's definitely the foundation of suerte. Suerte means something? It means luck in Spanish, Brad. It means what? Luck. Muy suerte. What's that? Oh no, I guess that does Very luck. That does um, Never mind. Hey, Brad. Yes, sir. You made this. Woo! We made this, Ramin. Good? Very good. Gucci. Gucci, babe. I'm going to turn it off. Yep. Oh, that smells great. Brad is just uh, scraping all the extra sides of masa from the stones so we can get it all uh, with the rest of the masa. And then we're going to... Weigh that, mix it with 1% salt, and whip it up with a little bit of water. 1% by weight? 1% by weight, yes. Uh-oh, hold on, I gotta oh. nick myself on the piece of the steel there. Uh... Oh. Band-aid? Yeah, maybe not. Hate band-aids. Uh, well, then I have to wear a glove or something stupid. Guy's wearing watches, he's bleeding in the masa. All I did was nick it on the one bolt. That nixtamalization of my hands made it soft, you know? Feel it, man. Feel soft that is, Vinny. Medic. I got boo boo, Dad. Oh, it's blue. It's okay. You ready? Yeah. It hurts. It's gonna be okay, bro. <laughs> That's the cutest band aid I've ever seen. It smells so good. I showered. 22.1 22.1 hurt kilos. Kilos. How many grams of salt? Grams. Ten, would you say it was 1%? Yeah. Oh, He's throwing me on the spot, Vince. 220. Yeah, that's what I said. It makes perfect sense. It's a simple math. Damn it for me. All right, great. So we weighed out our salt. We got our masa all grinded up there. Mm -hmm. Our corn into We're masa. Close. We're, We're this close. close. Uh, what's next, bud? We gotta put that masa in here. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get in the hole there. 
Start incorporating the salt. Okay. Add a little bit of water. We make a tortilla, we taste it. Start. One, two, three, go. Adding a little bit of water, just because I know it's gonna need it. Yep. But after we add the salt, I'm gonna teach you what we're looking for in terms of wetness. Okay. Uh, you wanna roll it up, and then when your hand touches the, the air, just the natural air in the room, you should feel a little bit wet. Do you okay. feel a little bit of that? Yeah, yeah, it's a little for bit sure. Cold, right? Yeah. Could feel a little bit more. We're gonna add about a, one more cup of water to this. That's what I was thinking. You can hear it instantly starting to get yeah. the attack. Smell that. I don't even have to get down there. You don't? No, it's punching me right in the nose. you're so tall. Well, your, your mouse is that good. What's that thing people on the internet, ASMR? What's that? Get in there, yeah, seriously. So people get really into like just weird noises. This is the sound of a mouse. This is my fir, uh, first ASMR clip. It's gonna go viral. This is water splashing. Ah! I like that. I'm gonna get into it. Ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Wet, but not. Yeah. Here, catch mine. Woo -hoo -hoo! It's all for sure. I was gonna f that one up. All right, cool. So this this batch is is done. We gotta do the other one. Yeah, we gotta do the other one. Yeah. So last night we also mixed and molded some red corn. We're gonna do the same process. We're gonna walk you through that as well, and then we're gonna get into the kitchen and start pressing and uh, cooking up some tortillas. Can't wait. Right? No. Cleaner. I feel like that was the first time I hit all the points. I mean, there was only two. Like first take. Oh yeah, celebration, baby! Get the beers. Fifty-four episodes. He nailed a clean sentence. All right. No one knew what to do. Exactly. Speechless. Yeah. He did it. All right, so you saw our tortilla ladies yesterday. Yep, they just, it. they just get after it and then roll it up. Uh, ideally, our tortilla should be 22 grams. Okay. They've done it so many times that they don't have to weigh it at all. Yeah, they got it. But how many times have you done this? Uh, I've made... We're still going to weigh them. Yeah. Drop it. Okay. Get it, it out of here. Oh, oh geez. All right. Well, I need to, you know, that we're calibrating. 24. Pretty good. I'm, I'm going to stop there. 21. 21's okay. <laughs> You're trying them for 22 grams, though, Brad. Yeah, we're not trying to cut corners. What kind of human are you? I know. You ready to get pressing or what? Yeah, big time. Yeah, big time? Okay. Yeah, give me a demo, chef. A little demo. Ball in the middle? Yep. Boom. Press it. You can always press more. But if you press too much, you're gonna have to restart over again, right. right? The thing that people always wanna do when they make the first tortilla is this. Right. And you're gonna see that it's ruined. I did Ru this mistake for you, so you shouldn't do this mistake. Ruined because why? It's too thin. It's too thin, it's uneven, it's not, it's not nice. Now we're gonna press it lightly. See how I'm like lightly putting it in my top three, four, uh, three fingers? I'm just carrying the, the tortilla. Sure. Because I'm not gonna throw it in there. I'm gonna be so nice to the tortilla. Have to. The, the corn has already been so nice to me. Right. So I'm just gonna drop it in there. Let Ooh. it go. All right. Let me give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll show you because we're ready to flip this one. A little bit more. I'm gonna go and flip this one. You see over here? It's too thin. It's a little too thin. Start but over. See how it's starting to turn white on the edges and it's starting to peel from the sides. Yep. It's telling me, for me, flip me, for, for God's sake, just go ahead and do that for me. <laughs> I like when it starts to curl like that. Yeah, it? it starts to curl. Should I redo this one? No, try it. Just drop it. Remember, when I, when I dropped it, I didn't go like that. I just, just see like, hey, what's up, Kamal? My name's Brad. I'm just going to hang out in here, right. and then the Kamal is going to take it from you. Okay. It's going to grab it. Yeah. Everyone Talk likes tortillas. Yeah. Even the come on. Even the come See how on. you're getting those white spots? Yeah. It's because you weren't gentle enough. Okay, sh. See, boom. It's puffing, Brad. It's puffing. We did it. We did it. 
That's it. Oh, puff. That's it. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. Man, that lady last night, man, she had that down like a she machine. Did. Sophie. Sophie is is a true road dog. Damn. <laughs> Get there, getting there, getting there. I was a little nervous. This one's starting to talk. We're getting starting some, to talk. Getting some whispers. What's that? Oh. Flip me soon. Ten seconds. Okay, okay. Let's give it a little. Then you want you gotta do one behind your behind your back though. What? Yeah, you wanna see that? Yeah, I do. Hold on. Uh too big. Yeah. Man, I am blown away by how easy. So, what's her name, Sophia? Sophie. Sophie made this, look. She, yeah. Everyone. You can take my recipes, but don't take Sophie. <laughs> oh, close. Good landing, though. For you, Vinny. God damn, you know. Yeah, yeah, let me do that real quick. I can't even do it looking at it. I'll try like hell. I'll tell you that much. If, if you landed on the first try, certified true road dog. Oh, shit. All I ever wanted. Oh yeah, no pressure. It's all right. Just a little look at Vinny, and then just bloop. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> or burn the restaurant down. It's fine. <laughs> oh, son of a Whoa! Come on. Damn, two for two, man. How's mine coming out, good? It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one, one chance of redemption. Te me hace que ya están, eh? Eh? Ponme aquí para ponerlos. Did you get it? No. Let's try a regular you, You're one. doubting yourself too much. Well. God. It's actually very hard. You're gonna, you're gonna be great. You're doing great. <laughs> you're definitely not higher though. <laughs> if I had to do this in a service, I might, I, you might break me. I might just like cry and go home. <laughs> and I was like, I stand like right in front of you. Yeah, I would like, be let's go, Brad. No one knows. Oh god, it's horrifying. Oh, he oh! likes it. Road dog status. Road dog. Road dog. Road dog. Uh, maybe road pup. You know, still, <laughs> still road pup. I landed in the hot spot. <laughs> you did. You know, when we were talking about tortillas and the masa, and we were talking about how there was the gluten. I'm sorry, not gluten. No gluten. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That, like this had some like serious bounce and stretch mm -hmm. to it. And that is that's the that's the gelatin that we developed through nixtamalization. All right, great. So we cooked up a bunch of tortillas. We did. Uh, let's taste them, yeah. Yeah, let's taste them. You ready? Yeah. Well, look at that, huh? Mmm. <laughs> Never done this before? No. There's a corn. It's pretty special. There's a salt. Big, clean corn flavor. But like, you get that uniqueness, I think, that comes from the nixtamalization, right? Yeah, that of kind course. Of, yeah. Mm. I give you about 200 of these. It's comforting. It's delicious. If you, if you eat 200, you have to make 200 of them. <laughs> I, like I said, I could eat about a hundred of these plain, but uh, you may want to whip up tacos. How we whip up some tacos, yeah. All right, so chef, I see you whipped up a couple tacos for us. Uh, just, just four tacos. Yeah, just four tacos. Just four little tacos. Little snacks. Little snacks. Accidents over here. <laughs> Before I even bite it, I, I'm, I'm still just blown away by the texture of these of these tortillas. How it's not ripping. How it's got that nice bounce to it, and. Uh, all right, Brad, just take a bite. I huh? just, I just, I beat you to it, Brad. <laughs> oh, man. That's so good. Yeah. It's just, it just has such a unique, satisfying flavor. It just seems like a great way, besides tortillas, obviously, I mean, home run all day. Mm -hmm. But uh, it just seems like a great way to add that unique flavor to certain types of dishes. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't feel like a lot of people have had a good tortilla this side of the border. Right. And that's what we're here to do. Just show people what the true power of a good tortilla can make you feel like and the possibilities that are beyond that. You right. know, everybody knows tacos. Not everybody knows what a tlacoyo is, right? Sure, sure. Not everybody knows what a molote is, what a tlayuda is. But since you know tacos and you feel like, oh, wow, this taco is so good, 
I think that's that's a good way to start and just showing people the possibilities of what masa can be. Yeah. Well, beautiful, man. Thank you thank so much. You for me, yeah, thank you for your time and thank you for showing me the world of masa because it's, uh, it's just mind blowing. Thank uh, you for helping us make some masa for tortillas. It's my pleasure. Thanks for joining, guys. Hope uh, you had a good time and bon appetit. Let's eat some more tacos, huh? Let's eat more tacos. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk. Food's too good. Hey guys, today we're down in Austin, Texas. We're gonna be hooking up with Fermin from, no? Oh, God damn with the hooking. Okay, this, okay, and I know what you're, what you're missing. Skills? Is it weird that I kind of wish this was a bigger vat and that I can just kind of slip into it? You wouldn't be the first one That'd to say good, that. good, huh? You feel Have good. Have you done that? Look, I pressed you a tortilla, Vince. We had we had some great times. We did have some great times. Oof. <laughs> well, thanks again, man. Made and made a great friend. Absolutely. Yeah. Road dog. True road, road dog. I made it. Yeah. You want to know the road dog handshake? <laughs> made it. Road dogs. Vinny make road dog. Vinny. Yeah. Vinny made it. everyone. Road, road dogs dog. for everyone. Road dog for Vinny. <laughs> hey. hey.